I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base. And right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race and mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Canterus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Callow. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Canterus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With a recommendation from Candorus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed.
Ah, there she is, the Ebonhawk, my pride and joy, the fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. <laughs> What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. Uh uh. No way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards if you live long enough for them to question you.
Welcome to the slave quarters, Vaster. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. But what could I possibly tell you? It is forbidden for slaves to leave this room on pain of torture and death. Praise from the guest is a valuable commodity here. Davik rewards the slaves who perform their duties well. I will tell you what I know. Davik rarely lets us leave the slave quarters. We only know what we hear from Davik's guests. Recently, they've all been talking about poor Hudro. He was caught trying to steal some spice from the lab. Normally, Hudro is allowed to get away with things like that because he's Davik's personal pilot for the Ibn Hawk. But since the Sith have grounded every ship on the planet, Udro doesn't get any more special treatment. They've locked him up in Davik's torture chambers. 
I think you can get there through the hall behind the west door of Davik's throne room. Just keep going west from the slave quarters and you'll see the throne room. But Davik's certain to have guards patrolling the area. If you leave the guest wing, they'll shoot you on sight. Please, I don't know anything else. As you wish, Master. You will find this most relaxing if you would come with me into the massage room at the back. Is it possible for you to keep in mind that we have more pressing business to attend to? I trust you are satisfied with the service. I have received many compliments on my skills from previous clients. Thank you, kind sir. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik he often rewards those slaves who perform their duties well. Is there anything else you require? Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the female slaves could serve your needs better? Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt... <laughs> Would you like a relaxing massage? As you wish, Master. You will find... Oh, typically male. Is it possible for... I trust you are satisfied with the service. Please, I beg you. Don't tell Davik you are displeased with me. He punishes those slaves who do not satisfy his guests. I'm sorry I have failed to please you, Master. I will try to do better in the future. Is there anything else you require from this most unworthy servant? As you wish, Master. I trust you are safe. Thank you, kind... Of course. What can I do? Yes? like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. 
You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Questions? Please. I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. No problem. Got it. Didn't work. Damn! 
damn those Sith. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Well, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in.
Tween. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. <laughs> 